Hi guys, it's Habon. Thank you for watching. In this video, I wanted to show you my work bags. Um, I've got two bags to share with you. Um, firstly, is one that I've been loving for the last couple of years and then a newer work bag that I'm really excited to also show you. So let's just get straight into it. So firstly, I would like to start with my long shot bag. So this bag I actually bought, I double checked, in April 2022. So you can see I've had this bag for two years. Honestly, if you look at it, I'll bring it quite close to you. Um, it hasn't got that much damage. You can't tell that I've been wearing this bag constantly for the last two years. It's still in really good quality. So the exact name of it is the Le Pliage Energy Small Handbag. Um, so believe it or not, this is actually the small. There's an extra small, which is one of those like micro bags, which is actually really fashionable now. But this one is the small. And I think this is like the perfect size work bag for me. And um, so in my job, I don't have to carry out, I don't have to carry a laptop or anything really bulky. So I don't really need a really big tote bag. Um, so I feel like a medium sized bag is good. Something that just fits my, my pack lunch. Uh, drink this bag like in this size has served me really well um i've pretty much have not put it down like i've been taking it to work for the last two years it, obviously you're getting a little bit bored of it now but i highly recommend it and if you're thinking of like a sort of medium sized work bag that you would like this is a good one the difference between the, this is it pliage energy rather than the other pliage is like if you if i bring it closer you can see it's got long shop like all down the zip like literally down the whole zip it says when you close it it says long shot which is really cool and it's got these tassels that are black and white um but so you can zip it up so that can be secure on the tube this is a really good bag it's got the top handle it's got the cross body it's got the little tag there with the little um, their little um, symbol and that's also on the zipper as well um, you can adjust the strap so you can, I tend to wear it cross body a lot but you can also wear it on the side and you can obviously hold it too so it does have like a zipper compartment and it has another compartment at the front where I tend to keep my oyster card so I can just grab it quickly and the back I used to keep like the important things like keys or whatever and I always carry around one of these like little mini um, pouches and I just put like essentials in there and things that I want to reach for quickly and I don't want to like rummage through the bottom of the bag let me just tell you actually and um, the price of it so when I bought it I double checked the email confirmation it was £150 and I checked the price today and it's £205 so that's a like £55 um, price increase is actually getting more expensive and um, even for 205 I think it's an investment bag you can have it for a long time it doesn't come out of style it's been a classic for years and years there's a reason why they're so popular so that's what I'm gonna say about this bag I've loved it and it serves me well but I was looking for something different and um, so I'll still keep it in my rotation but want to give it a break for a bit so this is my new work bag and um, so I've got this bag from anthropology Um, I think it, don't know the exact name but i'll write it in the description for you and um, the size is the large i think there's an extra large or like an oversized one which is far too big obviously i've got like a theme here that i like a medium to large bag i don't want a massive bag that i look like i'm carrying around a lot of things and i don't really need to put anything like any laptops or tablets in here so this is a good size for me so the price of this bag was 115 pound on the website and i got a 10 percent off using a NHS discount. It is faux leather and obviously it's black. I do like a black bag, especially for work, but I wouldn't mind buying this um, kind of style bag in a different color. There was also like a beige, I think there's red. There's so many different colors. If you go on the anthropology website, you'll see. So it's got gold hardware. It's got a zip here as well. And this bag, the reason I wanted it is in like the dupe of the Bottega bag. And I really like it. It's like a soft leather. And you see here, it's got like a knot here. And so I tend to bring the knot bit forward and it sits on your shoulder really nicely. And um, when I first bought it, I looked at a couple of reviews and people were saying the bag looks better the more you wear it. And obviously the more you stretch it out. So I kind of like filled it up with like so many water bottles and like put some heavy things in there just so that I can stretch it out. Because I think when it first came, this sort of, this bit here was a lot higher. It was like just here. So you only get like your arm in and it wasn't really, um, it didn't have that sort of drop down, like a, the nice um, drop down that I like. So I filled it up, stretched it out for a bit. Didn't have to stretch it out too much. Obviously I only did it for a day or two. I put some really heavy things in there and then quickly it stretched out to the kind of shape that I like. 
and I'm so happy that I did that because now it like, sits really nicely and gives me plenty of space. I don't feel constricted. So this bag, even though it's not that large compared to some other bags, it actually does fit a lot of stuff. So I'll show you what fits in. Um, I'm firstly show you just like a general water bottle, water that you get from Costco. Always carry your water with me. Um, and then I've got my, my travel mug. Um, so this one I got from the company Fellows. Um, it's like a, like a light gray color. I love this one. Not only to keep your um, drinks warm and stuff, but in the inside it's ceramic and it hasn't got that metal coating. Cause I sometimes like when I'm drinking my coffee, I, I don't like the taste of that metallicness. So the ceramic um, inside, sorry, I don't know if it's dirty, but the ceramic inside just keeps your coffee flavor and it doesn't have that metal taste and I really like it. So this is the one I always take with me to um, my coffee in the morning. So this is my everyday purse. It's a really old one. I, I need to I genuinely need to upgrade this, but this is like a, it was a JLo one. I think I got it. I don't know where I got it. I don't know where I found it, but when I saw it, I really liked it actually. Um, it's just JLo fits a lot of stuff. And now as you can see, it's overly stuffed and I've had it for like more years than I can that I care to remember. And then this is my hand cream. Hand cream is a must for me. Like I'm always washing my hands. So this is the intensive seven day nourishing hand cream. And um, so this is also shea butter and it says plus probiotic for dry and rough hands. And um, it smells great. It has that nice um, shea butter smell. And I think it was like 3 99 and get one half price or sometimes just half price on its own. I just tend to buy a couple of them whenever they're on offer and just stock up on this. And then I've got my umbrella. You need an umbrella in this UK weather. You'd never know when it's gonna rain. And I don't like being caught out. So I just, just carry it with me on an everyday basis. Then I've got here all of those reusable bags. And these ones I like to have on me because whenever I'm out and I'm buying something or I need to grab something for dinner, I hate paying for those 30p bags. So. I love it when I've got my own in my bag. I do keep like little scrunchies with me. Sometimes I need like extra hairbands just to keep everything secure and in place. So I just keep these extras in my bag. And I've got my AirPods here, I've got a black leather case, and this is a must, especially when I'm traveling. So next up, I've got my hand sanitizer. So this is always important to have just whenever you're out and about, you might want to eat and you have, you get nowhere to wash your hands. I just like to keep this on me at all times, because you never know when you're gonna need a good hand sanitizer. And then I've got this pouch here. The pouch, I just interchange it with all my bags. Like I keep my most important things in here. So like there's my work work ID, there's like my keys. I keep like salt sachets and sugar sachets. You don't know when you need these things. So it's good to keep like the little bits and bobs in there. And so it doesn't get lost in the bag. I do keep like a fragrance. So this is the Chanel Chance. And this is my favorite keep of tissue, which is really boring, but it's good to have some tissue. I suffer with headaches quite a lot. So there's always paracetamol in my bag. I've got here some lip balm and the lipstick I always keep with me is the Charlotte Tilbury Stone Rose. It's a good color to top over whatever lip color I've got on. It sort of gives like your lips a nice sheen. At the end of the day, when most of my lip products have worn off, this is a good one to just top it up, everything up. And I've got a mini um, Charlotte Tilbury powder. The shade is number three tan. This is good for just when you want to block your face, so you just want to touch up. So that all of that literally fit in this bag. And um, now that it's like half empty, you can see it doesn't, doesn't look as nice. So like here, it's cut, now it's empty. You can see it doesn't it kind of still holds its shape and there's nothing in there right now it kind of still holds its shape and um, it's really nice and um, fits so much more than you would think and it's ideal for me as a work bag and just like everyday bag really even on the weekends i do um, wear it out and about it's just a really nice bag really fashionable and I think it's worth like just buying this one, even though it's a hundred pound. You can get cheaper ones, I think, on Amazon, but the Anthropology one is, I think, the best one. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing my everyday work bags and what fits inside. And if you found this video useful, then please don't forget to give it a like and I shall catch you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye.